Hi, I'm Valerie Rofberg. I'm a biostatistician and research associate in the Center for Evidence Synthesis and Health at Brown University. And today we're going to be talking about Abstracker, which is a program that we've developed in-house to help you screen abstracts for systematic reviews. Abstracker is a free online tool to help you upload and organize the results of a systematic review search. So all of your abstracts will be in one place so that you can screen them, you can have multiple people screen them, um, and then export your results and see the results of your screening process. Abstracker is for anybody who is doing a systematic review or even any type of literature review where you want all of your abstracts in one place where you can easily organize them and manipulate them so that you can use them in whatever type of work you're doing. So here's an example of what you can do with Abstracker. If you click on this screen button for a project that you're working on, your abstract will be displayed. You'll see the title, the journal, authors, the abstract itself, and any keywords associated with that abstract. And from here, you can accept or reject the abstract. You can indicate that you're unsure of whether it should be included. You can highlight words to help speed up the screening process. So if you have some exclusion terms, you may highlight them red. And then once you see that red on the screen, you'll know that that abstract's likely to not be included. Same goes for green. And then there are a few other colors that you can choose just to make words stand out and help expedite the screening process. So just quickly, to accept an abstract, you'll click this green button. And to reject one, you would click the red X. And you can always go back and review any labels that you've assigned to abstracts and change them if you've made a mistake. Anybody can be accessing the same abstract or process at once. Um, if you have the setting set to double screening, you may have two people looking at the exact same abstract at the same time. But typically, multiple people can be working on the same project, screening at the same time, and you won't run into any problems with version control that other programs for this might have. Abstracker also has a machine learning algorithm that, if you so choose, can run in the background. And it will learn from abstracts that you've accepted or rejected, and then reorder the remaining ones so that the abstracts that are most likely to be included in your review will come up first. This can help expedite your screening process as well, because once you get to the point where you've been rejecting, say, 100 abstracts in a row, it's likely that the remaining abstracts will also all be rejected. We wouldn't recommend stopping at this point, but you may be able to move on to the next phase of your review or project. If it seems like Abstracker might help you in your project and your work, feel free to watch our next tutorials on how to start projects, how to actually screen using Abstracker, and how to manage any results that come out of your screening process. See you next time.